everybody, I'm Chris Provost, so you're watching Provost Podcast, and I'm on the Disney Fantasy cruise ship. And I'm gonna show you one of the coolest activities you can do on this cruise ship. It's amazing. Right here, it's called the Become a Detective Solve a Mystery. Let me show you how to do this. Welcome to the Midship Detective Agency. Which case would you like to solve? Please choose one now. There are three cases. These two, but the three uh, magnifying glasses are a little bit easier. I want to do the Muppet Soul. That is the hardest one. And I talked to one guy who says it's very difficult. Let's try it. The case of the stolen show. I don't know how to do any of this. Coming along perfectly again. Mickey. Hey, Mickey, where are you? Mickey. Skippy, what are you doing in Mickey's office? I have an important case. Well, no. uh, Mickey Mouse is out to lunch, okay? Okay. I don't mean this disrespectfully. Okay. Uh, but he, uh, he put me in charge, okay? You gotta be kidding. No, it's true. I'm in charge. So, uh, what is the problem? Okay, listen. Someone has taken all our props and we can't perform the show without them. Oh, Kermit! Kissy, kissy! No? Now that we are on a romantic cruise, where are you taking off for dinner tonight? Piggy, I can't think about that. Someone has taken all our props and we can't perform our show without them. I'm available. Stuff it, shrimp. Okay. We'll talk about this later. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> Pepe, what we need is a real detective. <gasps> hey, how about you? Can you help us? I can do it, Kermit. Oh, I don't think so, Kermit. I, I think we could do better, okay? No, no, <laughs> listen. Really, we need your help to find our missing props or we won't be able to put on our show. You're going to have to search all over the ship. Okay, folks, the detective trainer, Susan, will now explain how to help. We will be issuing you a high-tech detective badge that you'll use to solve the case. Your team will share one badge. To use it, you will need to face the black and white pattern toward the center of the screen while holding it from the bottom. Make sure your fingers don't cover the pattern and keep the badge straight up and down. You will also need to stand on the mark. First, we'll need to activate your badge. Pick up one badge and stand on the mark. There we go, picking up the badge. Now, hold up your badge with the black and white pattern facing the screen. I might be too tall. There we go, too well tall. Well done. Oh. Now move your badge until it matches exactly with the outline. Now move your badge until it matches up completely with the outline. How do I, am I too tall? Yep. I can't do it. Maybe get closer. Move Remember, good job. This badge number is now registered to your team. Woo. Now, let's practice. Oh. Move the magnifying glass until you find the key. Right. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to be very good at this. It's not... Do you have to get closer? Hold your badge farther back. Oh, further back. Great work. Your badge can be used in different ways. You might need to rotate something slowly. Or some things might need to be pushed. And if it starts to look like this, and you hear this noise, it means your badge isn't straight up and down. So make sure you're holding it correctly. Right. We will give you a case book. It contains important information about each Muppet. They must all be considered suspects. On the back is a map showing locations where you'll need to search for clues. At each place, you'll find a piece of art. Hold up your badge toward the art and a location will be revealed. When you find a clue, write it down. This will help you narrow down the suspects and figure out who stole the props. So it's like clue, but... Now, pick up a pencil and the case book with the green label. Got it. Uh, Pepe, did you get all that? Pepe, yeah. I said, did you get all that? Not a word, but I love the way she talks. Okay, well, listen, let's start at the scene of the crime, the trunk of props. Ah. You'll find it at this location. So go there now. And you know, I wanted to start at the soft serve ice creams, but- Deck uh, no? seven Okay, F. we'll do your thing first. Okay, find this painting on your map. We'll meet you there. Okay. Okay. All right, so that's my friend Jonathan. He'll be out kind of help me out a little bit. But this is, here's what I want to show you. And I think it's very appropriate. These are all the suspects. You'll notice there's no Janice because she could never do anything wrong. 
All right, we have to go to 7F. Let's do it. All right, so um, the thing is, this isn't like a timed activity. You can do this the whole time you're on the cruise ship or like, like today we're gonna be going to like a little activity will stop, but you pick up any time. All right, so we're going to the aft. The aft is the back of the ship. Now, sometimes when you're on a ship, you get a little confused, get turned around. Disney has it all worked out. No matter which Disney cruise ship you're on, you can check this out. Look at the carpet. Do you see the stars? This part here, the top of the star is pointing to the front of the ship, but there's nothing pointing to the bottom. That's the aft. So let's, we know we're going this way. All right, we made it. Now, if you look right here, you can see a little magnifying glass on the ground. And that's the photo that we're looking for. Wait, I swear that that wasn't the photo in the... But it changes. That photo has a question mark. In fact, I'll show oh. you. If you look on the map, number seven, you see how that has a question mark? That lets you know that the photo changes periodically during the day. That's something valuable to know. Because I would know. not have you would like known what to photo. do. Right. Okay, here we go. Babe, we need that crucial information. Can I get the crucial information? Here we are at the scene of the crime, the empty trunk of cops. Dun, dun, dun. Detectives, use your flashlight to look for a clue. How do you know what? It, oh, that's cool. Hey, what did you find? A broken clock. Report, detectives, the culprit must have broken it. Do you know what this means? A time to get a new clock? Means we know the time that the crime took place. 1.47 p.m. Mm. 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 <laughs> that seems like something that should be remembered and written down. Like a clue. See, si. go ahead and write it in your case book. Okay, write it in your case now book. Let's look for more clues. We got it. Got There's it. More... a painting from your map and we'll meet you there. Did somebody call for a crime scene cleanup? Oh, regard. Okay. Sweet. Okay. So Jonathan what do we have wrote, here? He wrote it down. 147 clock. Perfect. Okay, so we know the time of the crime. And now we can just randomly choose whichever photos you want to go to. And the one thing that I heard about this is that um, all the Muppets are suspects. Oh. <laughs> this is so cute. Should we go to eight? There's two of them on eight. Yes. Yes. So okay. where are we going, Chris? Hold on, we come over here. Okay. So we were on level seven. There are clues on level eight. So I'm like, let's go do level eight. But then Jonathan and Amanda, it's very astute there, says, yeah, but level eight is all the way to the front of the boat. If we just go up two levels, then we'll be on level nine where there are two clues right here. No clue run run and clue, there's another clue there. Now you don't have Thank to Thank goodness go you have us. You'd be running around all over. <laughs> I'd be like Camilla the chicken with my head cut off. Okay, now you don't have to go to every painting. You just have to do enough till you can solve the case. So let's check this one. I wonder if there are any clues here. It's really dark out there. Try using the ropes to move the lights around to see if you can find any clues. Oh. Oh, that's kind of hard, huh? What does that say? Beaker. Ooh. Beaker? What's written on that chalkboard, okay? How about aiming all Animal? three lights at the chalkboard to see all the names? And chef. Great the ABCs. Yeah, rehearsal find? from one it's to two. Okay, so we know these that these guys... from one to two. Okay. So okay. animal, beaker, and chef could not be it. List. Hey, Rolf, can you read the names? Don't mind if I do. Let's see, uh, animal, beaker, and a Swedish chef. Got it? Okay, on to the next painting. <laughs> okay, all right. Jonathan, this is what we know. The crime took place at 147. Mm -hmm. Beaker, the Swedish chef, and who else was it? Animal, I think. Uh, animal. animal. They were in rehearsal from one to two, so they couldn't do it. So let's cross out animal. All right, under here. We'll get, make a list. We'll cross out. Cross out animal. Okay. And we also know the speaker and the sweetie chef. 
Okay. Now let's go on the next clue. And this is the map. So you'll notice that this is the aft. Mm -hmm. So nine, seven, five. Okay. The front, of the mid, the front, of, you got 10, eight, six, so. So should we just go down to, wait, where did we start? What was we our first one? We started at seven here. We're now at do nine. Do we need to like kind of more to do here. check off the ones that we did so we don't get confused? Oh, yeah. Yes, we can. let's do that. Oh, there is a little check mark. Perfect. We've okay. done, we've done the Alice in Wonderland one. Yep. Now we gotta do this one over here. Well, I think we just go. No, there's two clues. We can't oh. Over there, let's do now it. Now at the next portrait here on level nine. Backstage security thief for 1.47 p.m. Uh, well, uh, I wish I could help you, Kermit, but uh, the uh, security monitors are on the fridge there now. Mm. Hey, detectives, can you fix the security monitors? No? All righty, well, how about it? I'm just going to get out of your way then. Yeah. Uh, so we plug it in, I bet. Okay. Oh, you lost oh. it. <laughs> 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 oh, yeah, there we go. Good job. Cute. Bobo, check the backstage footage from 1.47 p.m. Aha, the trunk of props. Now we can see who stole them. Oh, no. What happened? Yeah, I accidentally taped over the feed. What? Again? Oh. Well, listen, do you, do you have any useful footage from 1.47 p.m.? Well, I will look and see. Oh, oh that's that a plane shooting through the aqueduct? That's a good so. It's me. That might come in handy. Uh, Bubbo, do you have anything else that would help us? Mm, how about this one? <laughs> Is that you? See, I give complimentary massages on the promenade. <laughs> I want a Pepe massage. Oh, <laughs> this is why I can't remember where I was at 147. This piggy gave me a concussion I will never forget. Well, we still don't know who did it, but at least we can cross off this piggy and Pepe. See, cross off me and the pig. So, uh, now, uh, let's move on to the next piggy. All right, so we're cross crossing off Miss Piggy. Okay. And we gotta cross off Pepe the King Kron. Okay. All right. All right. And then we go to another level. Okay. Well, I say we still stay on the back side. It's easier to go up and down on the aft. So we stay in the back. Then we are on deck. Uh, let's see. With, we are got it. We are on deck nine. So we gotta go down to deck five. Five. Okay. Let's do it. Is that the last one in the very back? Yes. That's the last one in the back. Okay. So let's do it. Walk down the stairs. Have to catch your breath. <laughs> Working off the cruise food. Working off the cruise food. All right, so this is the, this is a fun one. Look, it's interactive. It's Pirates Caribbean, and like this one just periodically is interactive without having a card. Look at that, it's like firing. I love it. It's just like the ride, the ship from yeah. the ride, and then. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and activate my card. Lucky break, detectives. Beaker has something important to tell us. Use your device to suck Beaker's words into the babble vacuum. Oh, I'm sucking up the meat. Whoa, I don't think I've ever seen anything like this before. Yeah, and I sure hope I don't ever see it again. <laughs> <laughs> I love that guy. I used to hate them when I was a kid, but now I think that's, that's the funniest. The older you get, the more you relate to them, I feel like. All right. I found this I found this note, note by, by the, the truck, truck at 2 o'clock. I'm not sure, but we do know the note was dropped at the scene of the crime. Uh-oh. Bell. It might prove to be important. You're Let's right, write Jonathan? that word down and head to the next painting. We wrote the word bell down. 
found a note. <laughs> so cute. Okay. Me, me, me. All right. And we've completed all of them in the back. In the back. So the aft, and then this is the forward. So now we're going to go down. Is there anything on four? Oh, there's a lot in the front. Mm -hmm. Floor four. Okay. Should we start at two and go all the way up? Oh. We could. There's actually it's mid. 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 Oh, those were mid. mid. Those are mid. Two, three, and decks two, three, and four have mid. Okay. The big four has what three. Up? Okay. Six is six, eight, and ten. Let's go all the way to the front and do, we'll start at ten and come down. Okay. We'll okay. go ten, eight, six. Okay. So we're going to go do a short excursion. I mean, everybody's running a little low on time. We're going to do a short excursion, go swimming some stingrays. We will pick this up when we get back later tonight. Let's do it. All right, we took a break. We went on shore. Now we're back. We're going to go to deck four, I think, is where we're going to go deck four to the front. There's two clues there. Let's do this. Yay! We actually came to floor three. So we learned there's Gonzo stunt helmet by the pool. Okay. Is that all we learned? That's all we learned. All right, I will say it's a little harder to do right now because it's louder, more people are out and about. Yes. So let's go to a different floor. This is the main floor, uh, floor three, so we go to different floors. Is there anything? It's actually crossing Gonzo out. Do we? Now at Dumbo. Winning bingo card, go visit Pepe's door now. Great idea. Go to Pepe's door now. It's marked with a gold crown on your map. Okay, let's go to Pepe's door now. Four or five, I know that. Okay, so Pepe is a king prawn and he has a little door to his own cabin. I walked by it multiple times. I don't know what it is, but like it looks exactly like a door for everybody else's stateroom, but here's a shorter. So let's go check it out. Okay, so here we are at Pepe King Prawn's door. <laughs> it's so cute. And Babe, I, I just think that you're you're really not giving enough enthusiasm. Look at this door. Yes, this door is amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So all cute. right, so what are we looking at here? You're all terrific, the Muppet Mini Golf Team. Fuzzy, Sattler, Waldorf, Gonzo, and Beauregard. Congratulations, Bingo Wizard. Okay, 
Bingo winners. This means that probably one of these six people is the one because they left the bingo card behind. Uh oh. Fuzzy, Rolf, New Zealand, Bobo, Rizzo, or Sam the Eagle. That's what I think. And then as I see, what does it say up here? From the desk of Mickey Mouse. It's crossed out. Pepe the King Prong. Pepe's notes itself. Next time remember glass. Sure, why not? Okay. Find an assistant to do most of the work. Yes, <laughs> the ladies love it. <laughs> Call me, okay? 415 <laughs> Love Pepe. Call me, okay? Pepe's crab races. Sandy Claus, Chum Renner, Old Bay, Sebastian, Pee Wee Hermit, Rizzo, Pepe, Bobo, Pepe, okay. Blue Zealand. So I, again, I think we have narrowed it down to one of these six. So Jonathan, you would write a circle, maybe these names, or put these six names down on our piece of paper. Yeah. Well, does, are there any other clues on here that you have to look at? Well, I think at? depending on which one you're doing, you might get different ones. Interesting. So. Look at this. Five, one, four, eight and a half. <laughs> That's so cute. And then there's the deep sea fishing. They went deep sea fishing. There's Gonzo. Beach trip and harbor tour. All right, so now we're at floor six, continuing on. Midship and technique. I wonder why these pipes are connected. That's suspicious. See if you can use your wrench to straighten things out. Use my wrench to straighten things out. It's one of animal's drumsticks. <gasps> must be here somewhere. <laughs> right, keep looking. Animal. See, I'm, I'm trying to move that. Oh! You found both drumsticks. Oh, drumsticks. <laughs> Drumsticks! Drum pipes! <laughs> Animal. Hey, what came out of the pipe with the drumsticks? Looks like a used excursion ticket. That's a great clue. How is a used excursion ticket a clue? It means our culprit took an excursion. I have photos on my door of everyone who took an excursion. Oh. Check it out. Great idea. Go to Pepe's door now. Good. <laughs> so excursion ticket. All right. Back I knew. To Pepe's door. I knew there were going to be more clues on there. I was like, there's got to be much. more. Too much. The Pepe's door is too good. Okay. All right, you're back. All right. I should have filmed the whole walk back. Yeah. So you guys can see, like, it is a little bit of a trek. All right. Amanda says she should have filmed the walk because we were all the way to the other end of the boat. We get back. We went back. But. We now know that the culprit went on an excursion. These are the excursions. I think by process of elimination, we also know that is, they probably were also a bingo winner. So Rolf and Sam Eagle, Rolf and Sam Eagle, they're both there. Bobo, oh Bobo's there too. Gonzo and New Zealand, oh New Zealand's there. This is eliminating very much. <laughs> then you got Beauregard, Clarabelle Chicken, Fozzie, Miss Piggy, Rolf. Fozzie was a bingo winner. Fozzie is a bingo winner? Mm -hmm. So we haven't eliminated anything. Kermit, Statler and Waldo, and then Dr. Bunsen Honeydew. So we so we can eliminate safely Beaker. We know that Beaker it was on an excursion. I don't know, guys. So it was on the excursion and a bingo winner? Yes, but we don't know. So which... it's not we don't know which excursion Honeydew? was it was, do we? Well, okay, right, but you, can you eliminate um, Hello. Honeydew because he was not a bingo winner? Yeah, I think we can eliminate Dr. Bunsen Honeydew because he wasn't a bingo winner. I'm not sure, I'm just guessing. And Statler and Walda and Kermit. I think we eliminate these four. Okay. I think we can eliminate Beauregard, Clarabelle, not, uh, yeah, whatever her name is, Clara, Miss Piggy, she wasn't a bingo winner. So I think it's just back down to these six. Is that the coming out? 
chicken? Camilla. Camilla. That's Camilla. Camilla the chicken. So the crime scene happened at 147. Oh. oh. No, we had to look, Liz, and we're not even paying so attention. So good. Okay. Jonathan, okay. thank goodness you're here. We're not. Crime even... scene was at 147. Uh. So we know that this harbor tour, they are all eliminated. They all could not be part Which of it. Which we got with the bingo. Which we kind of knew. Okay, that's good. Okay. So we eliminate Kermit, Statler, Walter, and Dr. Budson Honeydew. So they, it's somewhere in there. Okay. All right, so this is day number three of trying to solve this Muppet case. Okay, we're still going. We're now on floor number two. We got my card. Here we go. See if there's something here. Try using your magnet to pull out marks. Oh, <laughs> just put a knife in the poster. <laughs> Babe, you're making a mess. I, I'm so not very good at this. I'm making a mess. Okay, I'm having a little difficulty. We never throw knives. The chef says there's something strange on the handle. It must be a clue from the culprit. Fishing line. Oh, oh. it's a fish hook. <laughs> Why are the Muppets so funny? Okay, wait, I have a question. Did you, like, you did almost every single I knife before it was the right knife? Yeah. So if you picked the right knife on the first try, you just would have been lucky? Maybe it would have been lucky. Hmm, babe. Bad luck on my part. But now we know, because I think there's an excursion of the fishing. So right. we know that. So it looks like the culprit went fishing. Okay. So we might have to go back up to um, Pepe's. to Pepe's door. But let's go to another picture and take a look. Let's do it. We are now on level eight at the front of the ship. Two clues right here. Let's do this. So far, this is my favorite photo. Yeah, I'm gonna run up the stairs. We can't see anything in that freezer. We do have a blowtorch. <gasps> what are the odds? Melting all the ice. <gasps> oh, Nothing there. Popcorn shrimp. Soft serve ice cream. Mickey bars in the back, Ma. Do you see them? Yeah. Meatless meatballs. Oh, hey! You found Gertrude by Blu-ray fish! <laughs> now let's see if she flies! <laughs> Fly! Hey, where's that stuff to Gertrude? Oh, a volunteer badge from the art auction. Another clue. Ah, there's a flyer with the names of all the Muppets who volunteered on the Muppet Corps. Let's go, 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 go Gross. We go. We have to go to the Muppet. We have to go to the Muppet call board. Where is that at, Jonathan? Oh, I don't know. It's on the map. Let's see. Where is this? Is this headquarters? Headquarters. What does it say? Oh, it's a Muppet. Muppet oh, call board. Deck four. Okay. Okay. We are at the call board, and we're looking to see who going overboard. Let's see, we're trying to find who volunteered. Oh, there we go. The Muppet Art Auction was a success. A big thanks to our auction volunteers, Rolf, Bunsen Honeydew, Sam the Eagle, and Camilla. We now know for a fact that it's one of those four Muppets. One of these four Muppets. And now we're gonna have to cross check which of these Muppets also went on the fishing tour and did these other things to find out. And we'll be able to eliminate the process of elimination down to one Muppet. 
And okay. Jonathan, our, our scribe <laughs> suspects. Who do we have as suspects? So we got Wolf. Wolf. Yeah. Wolf. Sam the Sam Eagle. Eagle. Bunsen Honeydew. Where is Bunsen well, Honeydew? Oh, okay, here. Yep. So we had him crossed out. out. Okay, so something. we know that's not him then. And then Camilla the chicken. We have him crossed out. We have her crossed out. Crossed so out. it has to be between Rolf and Sam the Eagle. We're down to two Muppets, guys. Man, didn't we think it was Sam the Eagle? I wonder. We're getting close. It'd be kind of weird because Sam's so patriotic. Yeah. I know. I feel like it's I probably it's him. him. You think it's Rolf? He seems Rolf. more. <laughs> Look at that. And yeah, he's Rolf right there. Rolf plays in the songs in the key of Wolf. <laughs> okay, so here we are on the fourth floor. We're down to two, and we're going to try to get another clue on the fourth fro floor front. Okay. Choose a suspect to interview with a liar, liar, pants up, fire, light detector on it. We only have time for one. Well, Rolf? Just drag the photo into the store. Who do you think it is? I think Rolf. Sam the Eagle, go on Sam, Sam the Eagle, Eagle. we only have time for one. Okay, it's between those two. Liar, liar, pants of fire, lie detector. Oh, look at him, he's so cute. <laughs> he looks nervous. What is the meaning of this? I'll ask the questions here, okay? So, where were you at 1.47 p.m.? Uh, I was, uh, putting a foot on their foot. <gasps> oh, no. He's lying. <laughs> My pants, my pants His are pants are on fire. That is so weird. He is so like Sam like by the book. Is that legal? I would not. International whoppers. <laughs> Hurry, detectives. We'll meet you at the next painting. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. So we knew it was between Rolf and Sam the Eagle. And then we found out that Sam the Eagle was a liar. His pants caught on fire. Now we're, to, I think we might be to our final painting. We're on f deck four. And they told us that we might not have to go to every painting. So we're going to go to deck four right here at the beginning and see what happens now. All right, look, guys. Okay, here we are. Whose stateroom should we search for my banjo? Just take a photo and drag it into the box. Who do you think we should check for the Kermit's banjo? I think Sam the Eagle. Let's go Sam. Ooh, I wonder what's hiding in there. Detectives, I have a feeling there's something important in that safe. What do you think the passcode could be to open it? Try looking in your case book and make sure to check all your clues. Oh, we have a clue here. Maybe on our, right here. Four digit. It, it's a, there's a little four digit, three, six, four, eight. Will you try that? Oh, no. Nope. Oops. <laughs> hmm, there are also letters on the buttons. Maybe the passcode is a word. Uh-oh. Oh, go confusing. on, give it a try. Uh-oh. I think you're in the way of the shot, Amanda. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to move that over there. There we go. He also said there's letters. Maybe it's a word. Are there any words on our books no. or anything? Okay, go to three, three. Try that. Three. I don't think that's going to be it. Six. That's We're too trying. easy. I'm trying. Four. Now go down to eight. Yep, yeah, now hit enter and see if that's the right one. I can never remember my own passwords. I always have to write them down. Yeah, that was too Detectives, easy. Try looking at your casebook and check all the clues you've written down. Give it another try. Oh, all right. Okay. Let me see there. There's no need. And I think it's a four letter word. <laughs> It's asking because we're still here, but we're looking at a case so you can show that it's closing down. Um, Could it be a name that's four letters? Rolf, R O W, or no, that he's not four letters. No, uh, Pepe is crossed out. Pep. He's four letters. Okay, so what did it say? Four letter word. 
It could be on the case. He said, look at the clues you've written down. Seven, one, uh -oh. All right, Chris is flustered. This is his perplexed face. I don't know. He is Gonzo confused. School. Bingo card. Look at the brow furrow. <laughs> Just found a hook on knife. We're gonna try Bobo because the bear. Whose stateroom should we search for my banjo? Just pick a photo and drag it in. Ooh, I wonder what's hiding in there. Detectives, I have a feeling there's something important in that safe. What do you think the passcode could be to open it? Try looking in your casebook and make sure to check all your clues. I don't think he'd have the name. I think he'd maybe have like fish or hook. Because there's that fishing excursion picture right above the safe. I think you're probably right. So Claire, hmm. well, he'll try also it. also letters on the buttons. Maybe the passcode is a word. I can never remember my uh, own it's not Bobo. All right, let's come back. Let's look at the case file and we'll come back. Try looking at for those of you. Try fish. Check all the clues you've written down. Give it another try. Try fish. Mm -hmm. F-I-S. Didn't work either. And try hook. <gasps> oh, oh, Bell! Remember, we wrote down Bell. That was a hit. That was a okay. We did well, write down too Bell. Bad. Okay, we did write down Bell. We remember that we got that word right at the very beginning. Yes. Yeah. So <laughs> sneaky. Oh, it oh, you found my missing banjo. Thank you. And you figured out who the culprit is. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We should turn and feather him away. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. He's already feathered. Well, don't be too hard on him. Let's ask him why he did it. Sam should be at this location. There. The eight forward. Now. On the eighth. On the eighth one. All hey. right. All right. All right. So, Sam, it is. Sam I'm the eagle. shocked that Sam would do Miles this. Miles was right. We're very dubious that it's Sam. By the way, there's two photos here. We're not sure which one to go to. We think it's this one. It might be that one. All of us are shocked that it was Sam the Eagle because we feel like of all the Muppets, he would be the one that least likely committed crime. Well, this one says Mexico. So I don't think this is it, but we're going to try to see what it does. Oh. Oh, it, it lets you. After reviewing your so-called show, I found it not nearly patriotic enough. Ma'am. So, I have taken the liberty of preparing a two-hour slideshow called U.S. Maritime Laws and Amendments 1789 to Present. Yes, it's music. Yes, I'm sure it is. And we have a perfect place in the show for it, Sam. You do? We do. It's only a 10 minute show. Take it. I'll go make the cuts now. It's called intermission. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh. Come, come here, come here. Everyone said we have a problem with our big opening number. There's no one to set off our patented Muppet Lab indoor fireworks. Hey, detectives, you've all been so helpful. Why don't you set off the fireworks, okay? Okay. Thank you so much. Miles, well, you want to set off the fireworks? Light them all.
Oh, Pepe. <laughs> you guys, we did it. Way to go, Jonathan, our scribe. Amanda uh, Miles came to help us at the end. It was so much I'm fun. I'm Mimi. This, oh, Mimi, you did great. Come on over and take a bow, Jonathan. We solved it. Jonathan, thank you so much. He's our perfect scribe. Mimi came in the last minute. We don't know really what she did, but she was amazing support. <laughs> We're shocked that it was Sam Eagle, but you know, what can you do? This was the hardest one. There's other ones that are easier. This is a five uh, magnifying glass case. There are three magnifying glasses for children much easier. So you gotta check those out as well. All right. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm gonna go turn in the card for solving the case. Thank you so much for joining us for solving that mystery, but do you know what's not a mystery? You are amazing. That's no mystery, that's common knowledge. And I am talking to you. I want you to know that I think you're awesome and you make the world better. You truly do. And you might be thinking, I don't know if I do make the world better. If you think that, just pause for a moment, take a deep breath with me and know that you do. Your energy makes the world a better place and it makes it more enjoyable. And I'm so glad that you're here on the planet with me. All right, guys, I'll talk to you later. Hit the like and subscribe. We got way more cool stuff coming out on the cruise ship and some excursions. I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye. We solved the Muppet case on the Disney Fantasy cruise ship. Bum, 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 bum. Super surprised it was Sam the Eagle. Maybe that's why they chose him because everybody thinks he's innocent, but he really was guilty